Welcome back to the Sports Fix on this Wednesday. We're into the home straight and it's time to get our ticket and get on board. All aboard the Sports Express, your ticket to sporting news. So I get that the AFL introduced the, uh, the, the, con- the new concussion rule to protect players' health and safety. I understand that. But AFL coaches are saying that the whole situation's a bit ridiculous and they're calling for an injury substitute um, because, you know, you don't know whether you're bringing on a 23rd man. There's, you know, 24 hours until a game in some instances. But they're frustrated because there's a potential for a concussion substitute or an injury substitute it could create a problem where it uh, might be exploited by some clubs if, uh, you know, players who aren't truly injured are being replaced by a healthy substitute. You know, this is the integrity of the game that we're talking about here. And it was discussed in detail on AFL 360 on Fox Footy. But the fact that, you know, it's 24 hours before a game starts and some teams still don't know whether they're picking 22 or 23 players just seems ridiculous. And it may end up being just far too complicated complicated <laughs> for a simple rule it's far too complicated and who knows we may see the end of it rather quickly in tennis news uh, alexander zarev has complained about his rankings and saying that uh, you know the world just favors roger federer um, and when we have a look at how much he's played, well, you can kind of understand he's ranked seventh and roger federer is ranked sixth but federer didn't play for an entire year whereas alex has played all throughout 2020 he underwent two rounds of knee surgery last year, whereas uh, Zarev has uh, made the final of the US Open. Uh, he won ATP 250 tournaments in Germany, qualified for the final of the Masters 1000 in Paris, and still he's sitting one rank behind. I can understand the frustration there. And finally, in rugby... Uh, Max Life has had people in absolute stitches after his interview went viral. Um, you know, he's got an interesting, I guess you could say, grasp of the English language and he's definitely got a dry sense of humour. Um, but you see in this uh, video clip him propping himself uh, up against the back of the posts at the Ashton Gate as a part of this weird neck exercise. Um, and then the video gets very, very strange. It's had like 1.7 million views. Um, so many people have shared it as well. It's definitely something... Uh, well, worth watching if you've got a couple of minutes free. Let's put it that way. And Courtney will be back with her Sports Express part of the Brecky Flow tomorrow morning right here on Flow. Before we wrap it up and head on out of here, time to just look at a couple of birthdays taking place today, uh, Wednesday the 17th of March. Johnny Platten, the Aussie Rules footballer, the Hawthorne Rover and co-winner with Tony Lockett of the 1987 Brownlow Medal. The Rat, he retired from footy at the end of the 97 season and Johnny Platten turning 58 today. Aaron Baddeley, the US-born Aussie golfer, aged just 18. He won his first Aussie Open back in 1999. He also became the first amateur to win the Open since Bruce Devlin did it in 1960. And in 2000, he again won the Aussie Open, only his second tournament as a professional. Won his second PGA Tour tournament in early 2007 and reached the top 50 of the world rankings. And Aaron turning 40 today. AFL player with the uh, the Adelaide Crows, Rory Sloan turning 31. The dual Malcolm Blight medalist was selected to the All-Australian team in 2016, served as Adelaide co-captain in 2019 and the role of sole captain in last season. Ruben Hurricane Carter, the American-Canadian middleweight boxer, he was granted a retrial on this day in 1976, thanks in part to the Bob, Hill, the Bob Dylan classic song called Hurricane. If you haven't listened to it, have a listen to it. It is an amazing song. And it was on this day in 1977 that the Australia versus England centenary test the cricket test, it ended at the MCG with a result, the same result as the first test. The first test was a 45-run win to Australia, and the second one, the centenary test on this day in 1997, it was a 45-run win to the Aussies. Nice to see history repeating itself. And the French Open became the first Grand Slam tennis event to be postponed due to the COVID-19 pandemic 
on this day just one year ago. Well, that's some of the things that happened on this day. It's been another big packed Sports Express for you. We've got our Thursday edition coming up tomorrow, and also Friday will be the sports show back on Flow. We're looking forward to that with the Flow Man and the Stat Man and the rest of the team. AFL season starts tomorrow. We'll have some tips for you, no doubt, as to the sides you should be picking. We'll see how we go. It all starts tomorrow. We're all excited for it, and we hope you can be a part of the Sports Fix, your Thursday edition, coming up tomorrow right here on Flow.